and welcome to my graphic novel um, review. These are the graphic novels I've collected over a couple of weeks. Uh, I've had well, I've had a certain few for a while. Uh, it all stems back to when I was growing up as a young boy many years ago. I used to read Tintin, and for Christmases I used to get I used to get the comic Battle. Uh, Becca said, "Is there any war comics or graphic novels?" No, I'm afraid there isn't. But in the early days, I used to I used to love getting uh, the annual uh, battle hardback for Christmas. I used to sit there and read it. And the Tintin books, are phenomenal. Asterix and all that stuff. So yeah, I grew up with that lot. And uh, I think it was New Icon that got me into Oko because of the artwork by um, Hub. Uh, the Circle, no, not the Circle. I keep saying that wrong. The cycle of um, water, and the cycle of earth, the cycle of air, and the latest one, uh, cycle of fire. And I believe there is a fifth book called The Cycle of Emptiness, but um, I don't think it's been published in a hardback format yet. But uh, if anyone knows it has, then let me know. Um, and they are gorgeous books. Uh, Hub writes and illustrates it, and uh, some pictures now of uh, some of the artwork, and it is phenomenal. Um, very colourful, um, the use is it's just beautiful to look at, let alone read. Uh, the story is loosely based on a demon hunter with his band of mates, like the sort of anti-heroes, and uh, they go around solving mysteries and killing people. Um, so that's awesome, I recommend it highly. Uh, the other book that I've got into lately is uh, my only one in the list that's, uh, by the way none of these are a top five, it's just uh, they're not in the, any set order is a manga book called Death Note. Um, I've read the first book, a huge bo books. If you get the uh, the black edition, um, the artwork's all black and white, as, but it's a beautiful story. Again, it's um, about death, one of the gods of death, and he drops his, note, his uh, death notebook on Earth, and a, a guy picks it up, and basically, if you put your name, in, if he writes the name in the book, he can kill that person and kill him how he wants to be killed and so he starts going around killing all the bad people but it's a good book um, I've only read the first one and two volumes I've got the second book to read uh, volumes three and four uh, it goes all the way up to f uh, 13 so I think there's six of these all together or seven but uh, yeah I recommend them it's a funny way because manga I don't know if you know but you have to read the book back to front this is I didn't know that but <coughs> So that's Death Note. Um, next, Amulet. Uh, this is one book of six. Um, I don't think I'll probably get many more of these. Uh, I think I'll just, book one's pretty cool. It's about um, uh, some children that move into a big house and they lose their mother somehow. Um, I can't give too much away. And uh, they go and rescue her. But the, again, the artwork, I love it. Um, beautiful artwork recommend this book it's it's probably for more of a younger audience um, but I still love it because of the artwork and the story cool this one's quite popular I found out on YouTube um, Nimona again um, quality read great story it's about the storyline is basically about friendship and this woman here Nimona herself who's a shape changer and she gets employed by a arch villain sort of super super villain and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, lots of things happen and go, go mad. Um, again, the artwork, as I say, the artwork's different, and it's it's super colourful, uh, and it's I love it. It's it's, it's I just uh, it's, check it out if you haven't. I mean, check it out. It's probably more for um, sort of teenagers uh, upwards. This one. <coughs> Right, getting on to the sinister ones now. Through the Woods. Um, again, it's it's uh, five stories in one book. Uh, five short stories by the same author. Uh, and her artwork, again, is very different to what all the other books I've just showed you. Um, and it ch the artwork does change as each story goes through. She puts, But it's mainly the, the red and the white and the black she uses a lot. But the, the stories are, this is definitely an adult book, um, are very sinister and chilling and macabre. And 
it's what I read this in one night. Uh, it took me about an hour and a half to read the whole book. It's not a thick book, but um, I definitely want to read it again because some of the stories um, there's a few twists at the end, and you think, "Oh, I'll read that again." Awesome. The last book, which well, is probably probably my favourite at the moment, um, it's fairly expensive. The Free Shadows, um, beautiful book, beautiful. I'm definitely going to read this one again. Uh, it's a it's about a what uh, parents do to protect their children uh, basically I'm not going to say much more than that it's a good twist throughout the well, it goes a bit crazy at the end um, the artwork in this book even though it's black and white it's the detail again I love love it the detail it's all in the detail beautiful beautiful book um, awesome cover work I love the front cover of this it's fantastic um, so I'm definitely going to be reading this one again but they're all <laughs> They're all pretty good books in their own right, um, and I'll probably probably get some more. I've, I've blitzed it a bit, gone a bit mad lately. So, anyway, back to my painting for Tuesday, and also if you've got some graphic novels you want to share on Tube, I'd be love. I'd love to see what you've got in your collection. If you've got a collection of graphic novels or comics, yes, I haven't got any Marvel or DC, but that doesn't really float my boat. But there's tons of stuff out there for that. But uh, yeah, so that's me done. I'll see you later. See you in the next one.